What's up guys? Today we are going to be working with React, we're going to be working with Tailwind, and we are going to build the Tesla website. So it's going to be responsive and totally beginner friendly. So follow along with me. This will be an awesome project to put on your GitHub. Let's jump right into it. So the first thing we're going to do is open up Terminal and we're going to create a React project. So let's go npx create React app and this thing is going to be called, let's just call it the Tesla clone YouTube. And we'll get that and we'll just start spinning up our React project. And while that's going, let's talk about a few plugins. So we'll go to plugins and you can see that we have this ES7 plus React Redux, React Native Snippets. This one's really helpful, we'll be using that, so go ahead and download that. We have prettier code formatter, so we can get our code nice and sexy, and Tailwind, CSS, and Telesense. So get those three installed. And then we'll also look at this. On this side over here, we have this CSS Peeper. It's a Chrome extension, if I click it, it lets us peep on the CSS so we can see fonts and we can come here we can see colors we can see assets so we can download those so go ahead and get that installed and we should be good to go let's check out our terminal react project should be almost done building here let's see this is probably the last the last one and we're waiting for happy hacking there it is happy hacking so Let's jump into it. We'll close that. We're gonna go open folder. We save that to our desktop and this was the Tesla clone YouTube. So let's open it up. And the first thing we're gonna do is go into the source folder. We're gonna delete things that we don't need. So let's click setup test and we're gonna hold down the command key and we'll click setup test, report web vitals, logo, app.test.js and app.css. We'll right click and we'll say delete we'll say move to trash uh, while we're here let's go ahead and create a couple folders so we're gonna have a components folder and then we'll also create a assets folder and then let's go into let's go into the index.js um, we'll make this smaller so you guys can see We'll go ahead and delete this report web vitals and report web vitals. We'll go into the app JS and we're just starting clean. So we're gonna delete all this and we'll just have this div tag. Maybe we'll put an H1 in here and we'll say Tesla clone and we will get rid of the app here. Oh, and we do not, we deleted this logo and this app CSS, so we can just get rid of that. Perfect. So let's go ahead and install Tailwind. So we can go over to the Tailwind docs. It's tailwindcss.com. We'll click docs and we'll go to framework guides. And if you scroll down, we're looking for create react app. So we'll click that and then we'll copy this and we'll come into our project. Let's open up a terminal and we'll paste that in here. And this only takes a second to run. And if you watch over here, you'll see some new things get added. So we have this postcss.config.js that was added and this tailwind config. So if we follow down with these instructions, we can copy this here and we'll come into our index.css, or sorry, we'll do that in a second. First, we'll come into the tailwind. We'll come in here into content, paste that in there keep scrolling down we'll copy this and this is what's gonna go into our in uh, where's our CSS did I close it yep index CSS so we'll go ahead and we'll delete that we'll put that in there perfect and then we can do npm run start but the first thing that we want to do is we want to see if we installed correctly so let's go ahead and copy some of these utility classes I'm gonna close a couple things here so we'll come in here to app. We will paste that in here. And when we start this, we're hoping to see some text that says Tesla clone and that be underlined and no errors. So we'll see if we did everything right. Uh, that's what should happen. So let's give it a try. So we'll go NPM start. We'll 
We'll say fingers crossed, no errors. That was a lot of change. Ooh, 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 look at that. Tesla clone, underline, Tailwind's installed correctly, and our React project is set up. So next, let's actually add the Tesla font. So we will go to the website. Let's open up the developer tool. So if you hit Command Option I, it's gonna open up. We'll go to the CDN design tesla.com, go into assets. We're gonna grab this Gotham book. Let's right click and we'll say open a new tab. It's gonna download the file for us. So we'll come in here to the assets and let's add our font. It's on my other screen. So let me grab that real quick. We'll just drag that into the assets folder. Perfect, then we can close it. Um, we will close the config as well, and we will close the index. So we just have app open. We can close the developer tools. Let's go to our project, and we want to see if this text changes. So we have to go into our index.css. We're going to go at font face, and this was Gotham Book. And then the source, we're going to go period, slash, go into our assets, and there's our font. So we're going to grab our font. You can see it didn't change yet, but we're going to select everything, and we are going to say font family, and this is going to be Gotham book, and it should change. Woohoo! And then we'll that and we are set up Whew, that was a lot so we spun up a react app we installed tailwind we added the font and now we're ready to start coding so we'll do that next see you soon